So I mentioned Kyle Rittenhouse earlier. And I want to talk about the the bias that the judge in that case has displayed. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the case. Rittenhouse murdered people, crossed state lines with a rifle and murdered people. Um, and now he is on trial for it. I hope everyone is prepared for Rittenhouse to go free. This is in the nation. Even if Rittenhouse somehow draws an impartial jury, he already appears to have landed a very partial judge. The trial of teenage gunman, oh, and by the way, I just want to note before we even dive in, look at that picture of this guy. Um, in many cases, for people who, who, for example, an impoverished black person who's sitting in court will often be in a jumpsuit, jail jumpsuit. So right off the bat, you have this optic that is beneficial to the white supremacist sack of fucking excrement that killed a couple people um, over his racist views. Right away, the legal system right here telling you which side it's on and, and what it's there to prop up and the role it's playing here. The trial of teenage gunman Kyle Rittenhouse begins next week, but the fix is already in. Rittenhouse, who was being tried as an adult, shot two people dead in the street in Kenosha, Wisconsin, during the protest that followed the shooting of Jacob Blake in 2020. That he killed two people is undisputed, but Rittenhouse claims the homicides were justified acts as of self-defense. Absolutely absurd. Anyone who's followed the story knows that. Rittenhouse is not from Kenosha. He went there with other armed men, allegedly to defend a place called Car Source which I point out just to emphasize that he wasn't even trying to protect his own property in his own town. Once there, he began patrolling the streets with an assault rifle illegally gifted from gifted him by an older friend. I find the claim that Rittenhouse subsequently murdered two unarmed people in self-defense to be unconscionable. I agree. In a just world, Rittenhouse would go to jail for a double homicide and illegal gun possession. That is correct. But we do not live in a just world. We live in a white one. Rittenhouse has become a, a, a cause celebre, I, I think I, cause celeb, there we go, I knew it was in there somewhere, among white supremacists and their media sympathizers who have proudly defended Rittenhouse's decision to kill. Rittenhouse is the very definition of an outside agitator who came into someone else's community armed to do violence just because he murdered while white, he will probably walk free. That reality is almost assured because even if Rittenhouse somehow draws an impartial jury, he has already won the white people's lottery and landed a very partial white judge. Wisconsin State Judge Bruce Schroeder has presided over the Rittenhouse case from the beginning and has done nearly everything he can to tilt the scales of justice in Rittenhouse's favor. This week, in, past, in the last pretrial conference, Schroeder declared that prosecutors are not allowed to refer to the people Rittenhouse murdered as victims during the trial. He said victims is too loaded a term as if there were some other words we should use for unarmed people who were shot to death. Now, there is a progressive, this is the key part right here, you guys. Now, there is a progressive argument for not calling victims of homicide victims at trial. And I actually agree with that, but we're going to get to why it's improper in this case. I can absolutely see the argument that using the term in a case where the defendant claims self-defense lacks neutrality. It's, it, it's a choice other judges have made, though I doubt that this kind of neutrality would be given to a black teen who gunned down people at a mega rally. 100% correct. Still, I wouldn't call Judge Schroeder biased for this ruling alone. I call Schroeder biased because at the same conference at which he decided to prohibit the, prose the prosecution from using the word victims to describe the people Rittenhouse shot, he said he would allow the defense to use words like rioters, looters, and arsonists to describe those same people. So do you see what the judge is saying here? Sch Schroeder is saying victim is too loaded of a phrase. But to call them rioters and looters and arsonists is somehow not loaded? Utterly insane and a, and a very clear demonstration of bias here from, from Judge Schroeder. And as the article notes, Rittenhouse has already won the white person lottery in this particular regard. So um, I, I agree with the sentiment that I, you know, I hope that there is some form of justice or accountability here. He clearly murdered two people. He clearly... Uh, cross state lines with the intent of committing violence against people and uh, clearly is is connected to and associated with some very unpalatable groups. Um, and, you know, and uh, uh, the, the key to me, the key point that they made here is this is not how it would be treated if this was a black teenager who crossed state lines and shot two people at a mega rally. It's just not. And we all know that. Um, so. We'll keep covering the story as it develops, but it's unfortunate to see that the judge in this case is clearly quite biased. Um, and I think Kyle Rittenhouse has a good shot of escaping any form of justice or accountability for what he did.